Welcome to the Air Gun Show. In this week's episode, I'm gonna be sharing a few tips that I hope will help you to get the most from your hunting during the late spring and early summer months. But before that, I'm heading out on what turns out to be a great session on the rabbits. Right, I'm out after rabbits this evening and I'm expecting to get a few because there are quite a lot on this farm at the moment. Now, obviously the farmer is not too happy about that because they are causing a lot of damage, but I've got to say that I'm really pleased to see them making such a strong comeback after being hit really hard by viral hemorrhagic disease over the past few years. Um, and on this farm, actually, they've come back so strong that I honestly think there are more rabbits here now than there probably have been in the past 20 years or so. Um, the kit that I'm going to be using for this evening's rabbit shoot, the gun is the FX Impact Mark II, which I think is just a fantastic little air gun. Uh, this one's 2.2 caliber and it's FAC rated, but I don't push the power up too hard on this one. I usually run it at about 30 foot pounds, which I think is perfect for typical 16 grain pellets. And it gives it more reach and more wallop than sub 12, but it still keeps it quite smooth shooting and obviously very good in terms of air efficiency. Um, the gun is paired with the Hawk Sidewinder Scope and that is held on with sports match scope mounts. Um, I've also got the Eagle Vision GoPro camera mount on the scope tonight and I'm hoping that I'll be able to ca capture some of the action through the scope. Now, as I expect a lot of you are aware, my favorite approach for really making an impression on rabbits is to just set up an ambush and snipe them off of a bipod. That's the plan for this evening. So I'm gonna go get myself settled in and we'll see how it goes. Well, we're off to a great start. I expected there to be quite a few rabbits about, and there are. Uh, there have been times this evening already when there have been two or three out at once. Now, where I've set myself up, um, typically I'm shooting at about 30 meters, so off of the bipod, it's very comfortable shooting. Um, I've also picked a spot that, um, there are some nice dense trees here, and obviously I've got the building behind me and it's just been casting me into shade while the sun's still been out. Sun's getting much lower now, um, so I'm hoping that it will just get better.
thought for a moment there, I was going to get two rabbits, but uh, the other one very wisely decided to clear off. That one was probably about 45 metres, making it a bit, probably the fur furthest one of the evening so far, and it needed a little bit of hold under. Um, now I'm not checking ranges as I go along because I've shot here before. I'm fairly confident with the, the markers I've, I've got in terms of fence posts and tree trunks that I can gauge the range by eye uh, just through familiarity so I'm not having to wave a rangefinder around when the rabbits come out. Uh, one thing I have had to do though is just move along just a few feet since the last couple of shots um, because I was struggling with high stems just in front of the muzzle. I've managed to keep shots clear but it's just been another thing to have to worry about and typically I, I, I chose this corner because of the cover and it's been fenced off but that means that the grass here is a little bit higher than it is in the rest of the field. Um, like I say, once I'm a few metres out, it's really closely cropped, so there are no stems for me to need to worry about. Another slightly longer shot there. So again, it needed a touch of hold under. Um, it wasn't a huge rabbit, but because there are so many here and the damage that they're causing, particularly with undermining that side of the field, I'm not really discriminating. And I've got to say that it's the half to three quarter go uh, grown rabbits that are the best for the pot. Um, and although we're shooting for pest control, I don't want these rabbits to go to waste so they're going to end up on the table and those younger tenderer rabbits are always the best for that. The light is just starting to go a bit now and I actually put the illuminated reticle on for that one just to give me just a slightly more defined aim point. Um, it is slowing down a bit but I'm going to stay here for as long as I've got light to shoot by.
Well, there's another one. I only had just about enough light to shoot that one by, so I'm gonna make it the last one, but it's been a brilliant evening shooting. The rabbits certainly appear to have been back in full force, um, although there are significantly less now. As I said at the outset, um, and have said repeatedly, these are being shot for the pot, and they're really nice, good, clean looking rabbits. So I'm gonna get on now and pick them up before I've gotta do it in complete darkness. It's always great to get out on the rabbits. Next up, a few tips that I hope will help you to make the most of the current seasonal hunting opportunities. A couple of months ago, I made a video looking at hunting opportunities that airgun shooters could be taking advantage of during the early spring. Uh, it seemed to go down pretty well, so I thought I'd do another one looking at late spring going into early summer. And um, I think I'll kick off with grey squirrels because I think that the control of grey squirrels is about the best contribution that air gun shooters can make to the British countryside. Now, the job can get a bit trickier at this time of year because the trees are leafing up. So my first piece of advice is to keep your feeding stations going because they will draw squirrels down from the summer foliage down to where you can get clear shots at them. Although spring is really starting to wear on now, there are still some spring drillings going on. So keep an eye out for disturbed ground where seeds are being drilled because they will attract the attention of crows, rooks, jackdaws and wood pigeons that will cause a lot of damage when they turn up. So if you get yourself set up in the right place, you can enjoy some great shooting while helping the farmer to reduce that damage. Another really important service carried out by air gun shooters is the control of feral pigeons around farm buildings. Now, these birds pose a serious disease risk by fouling on stored crops and animal feed. They have the potential to breed right through the year, but their numbers can really spike during late spring and early summer. So now really is the time to crack on with your feral pigeon control. Rat control can easily get overlooked during the summer months. Now, that's partly because they tend to disperse away from farm buildings when there is more natural food available, but also I think it tends to be because it's just less appealing going out shooting after dark when nightfall comes so late. Um, it is worth sticking with it though, because now can be a really good time to just grind down those few stragglers that are still around the farm buildings and because there are less hours of darkness for rats to go about their business, you may even be able to encounter them during daylight hours. Rabbit shooting is a favorite pursuit of a lot of air gun hunters. Now, after a pretty serious setback, due to hemorrhagic disease, the rabbits are making a really strong return on a lot of my permissions. So much so that they're starting to cause some pretty hefty damage. And on some of the ground that I shoot on, there are now more rabbits there than I've seen in the past 20 years or so. Now, I think the most effective way to control rabbits with an air rifle is to set up an ambush. But if you want a real challenge, set out on foot and see if you can stalk within range of them. Um, whatever tactics I do choose to use, the last couple of hours before nightfall are usually my favourite time to be out targeting rabbits at this time of year.
So that's just a few shooting opportunities for you to consider over the coming weeks and I don't doubt that there will also be plenty of others. And don't forget, although pest control is usually our primary reason for heading out hunting with an air gun, there is also the added reward of some great meat for the table if you're setting your sights on rabbits, grey squirrels or wood pigeons. Don't miss the award-winning air gun shooter magazine. It's packed with hunting features, reviews, tactics and insight to help you become an even more successful shooter. Get your copy today in shops or online. I'm afraid that's all we have time for in this week's episode, but as ever, we'll be back again in a fortnight. And in the meantime, you can keep up with me on Instagram at Matt Manning Outdoors. Thank you for watching. And remember, if you aren't already a member of the BASC, have a look at their website and check out the benefits that you could be taking advantage of through Airgun membership. <laughs>